Hey there, lovely people on the internet. Welcome back to Tube Chala, where we are diving into the wonderful world of Excel. But hold on to your spreadsheets because this is not an average Excel tutorial. Ever wondered how to become an Excel wizard? Or maybe you are tired of searching through countless rows and columns? Well, we have got a little, little secret that's about to make your life a whole lot easier. Yes, we are here to demystify the magical world of VLOOKUP function. What exactly is VLOOKUP? Or the as it stands in full as vertical lookup. Let us think of it as an Excel's GPS for your data. It helps you find what you are looking for without getting lost into the spreadsheet jungle. But hold on, it is not as simple as it sounds. So let us find what exactly is in VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP is a powerful function in Excel that allows you to search for a specific value in a table. In this particular case, we are talking about employer ID, which is shown and encircled in the red colored circle and it returns a corresponding value from another column here in this particular case we are looking forward to have the salary of employer id having number 53 now how to set up the vlookup or let us understand the steps to use vlookup function First and the foremost condition for VLOOKUP to be applied is lookup data to be organized in a tabular format as shown in the figure. The first column of the table should contain the lookup value or the value which we want to look for. In this particular case, employee ID having number 53. It is also important to remember that VLOOKUP looks towards the right side of the lookup value. Means the column you want to return data from should be to the right of the lookup column. Now set up the lookup value. It means let us navigate to the cell where we want to view the result of the VLOOKUP function. In this particular, it is H3. Now specify where to search. Now we will enter the VLOOKUP function in the cell where we want to view the result. The syntax for VLOOKUP function is is equal to VLOOKUP within bracket lookup value comma table array comma column index number comma the range lookup now let us understand step by step what does this mean in the vlookup function we need to specify the lookup value now lookup value is the value we want to look up for. In this particular, our lookup value is lying in cell H2, which is the employee ID. Now table array is the range of cells that contains the data you want to search. Column index number is the column number of the data you want to return. So in this particular case, our data for salary is lying in column number 4 starting from the first column which is having employee ID. So here we put in 4 as the column index number. Then we need to choose 
between exact or approximate match. The last parameter of the VLOOKUP function is an optional one and it specifies whether we want an exact match or an approximate match. If we want an exact match, we need to enter false or a zero to find out the desired result. If we want to an approximate match, we can enter true or one as to get the approximate match for the desired result. And soon we close the bracket and hit enter, we will get the desired result. All right, my fellow Excel explorers, that's a wrap up on our VLOOKUP adventure. We hope you enjoyed the journey and learned something new today. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for more Excel wizardry.